All right, good morning, Riel. Although Florence weakened to a tropical storm, you can see that it is still dumping torrential rain and over the same areas that have been dealing with the rain for the past 24 hours. Hence, the biggest concern of flooding now, catastrophic flooding, in fact. Look at the current radar and some areas here in Wilmington, for example, where yesterday Florence made landfall near there, still dealing with those rain bands feeding in and just pummeling the North Carolina area, South Carolina as well. So the latest 5M advisory is showing us that Florence is moving west-southwest at 5 miles an hour, so still very slowly. Max sustained winds of 50 miles an hour and forecast to continue moving across uh, South Carolina, but spreading rain all across the Carolinas as we head throughout the day today and into tomorrow, likely a depression before it starts to turn to the north, then heads towards more of the northeast. And you can see that moisture will continue to spread across much of the mid-Atlantic, the northeast, but peak wind gusts so far this morning not as intense as yesterday about 29 to 39 miles an hour but again flash flood watches flash flood warnings in place because of the fact that we've already seen so much rain over 20 inches in spots we're going to be adding to that throughout the day today and into tomorrow in the meantime hurricane unders went in to investigate isaac which yesterday actually Restrengthed to a tropical storm, but now we are talking about the remnants of Isaac because it is dissipated. So it's just a wave that's moving through the Caribbean that will bring some moisture and we'll closely monitor. It's dry in Broward and Dade County. We've had a couple of showers here across the lower keys. Now just some ground clutter winds are calm and temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. So as we head into the afternoon today, highs will climb to the low 90s. It'll feel like the triple digits and there could be some storms developing. In fact, that's what the models are indicating with the heating of the day and that sea breeze. So we are going to see into the afternoon, into the evening, the possibility of some downpours and even some lightning. We'll have a more on the rest of the weekend forecast ahead. Real.